Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you are going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear sister. Strange things do happen in this world. The message reads like this. Hello, my brother. How are you? I am a young woman who is from Zim. So me and my husband, we met each other because we were attending the same church, which was like brand new in our town. So because of the miracles that were happening at that church everyone from our location started going to this church until the church became really big so i am still young me and my husband we are a very young couple as for my husband he is 25 and i am 22 we only have one child but i can say that me being able to conceive for my husband it is by the grace of god because i have lost so many pregnancies ever since i started sleeping with the prophet from our church so what happened was that when i started to go to this church i was still in secondary school but there was a way that the prophet used to look at me so i thought that i was the one who was a sinner who was very wrong like to look at the man of god like that but later on i then found out that the man of god is nothing but a lustful man when i was still in secondary school that was when i joined the present worship team and after i had joined the present worship team it was like the prophet was waiting for me to finish up my secondary education because after i had finished my secondary education that was when i was told that god's favor had finally located me i was told this one sunday when the prophet was preaching he pointed his microphone at me and then i got up and he said that god's favor had located me later on after the service that was when an asha came and told me that the prophet had said that god had revealed to him that i was supposed to move around with him as part of his hostess team and i didn't know that this was not god's grace but i had actually fallen into the prophet's trap my brother as for my boyfriend he was in the sound engineering team at that time when we started dating the prophet then told me that i should stop dating my boyfriend who became my husband he claimed that when he had prayed for my boyfriend he had been told by the holy spirit that the evil spirits that are in my boyfriend's family they are just too many and he was unable to defeat them so he said i as a prophet a man of god if i cannot defeat the demons that were revealed to me by the holy spirit how about you so i want you to stop dating this guy but you know that he was like my first boyfriend and i was scared to dump him and he loved me and i loved him so we kept on dating in secret but the prophet it's like his eyes are everywhere he sees everything and he hears everything even when we were dating like that the prophet still knew that i was dating so there was a time when the prophet told me that he, i should come to his hotel at that time we had gone for this other crusade in cape town because he wanted to make sure that the people that are from zim in cape town they come and attend his church so we had traveled from zim and we had our crusade in cape town so we were booked at this very beautiful hotel that was when i was called by this other guy who is like a choir coordinator so this guy is the one who knows most of the secrets that are done by the prophet like when the prophet falls in love with any woman who is a member of our church this guy he is the one who is sent so that if it happens that the woman refuses then the prophet will be clean it will be as if this man he is just working alone so he came to where i was with other girls and i was told that the prophet he wanted to speak with me there was something that he wanted to tell me so we then went to the prophet prophet and the guy to my surprise he refused to walk into that hotel room claiming that it was the holy of holies the pastor was in the middle of a, an intercession with god so he did not want to be in that holy room and then i entered into this so-called holy room to my surprise i then saw that the prophet he was lying on his hotel bed he was like naked my brother and his manhood it was fully erect when i got in there to my surprise the prophet he was busy 
drinking johnny walker and he was actually smoking some cigarettes you know those big thick cigarettes that was what he was smoking and the smoke that was in there it made me to start coughing and i could not even stop coughing so when i looked at him as he was lying on the bed naked even his manhood it was like a demon of lustfulness it possessed me because i then started to lust after him and i then went and i jumped on top of him and i then started to romance him the things that i did my brother it was like i was under demonic possession the way that me and the prophet made love to each other it was just something that was demonic and crazy the way that i was riding him without any fear or anything it was just very weird so my brother after i had made love to the prophet i then found out that i had fallen pregnant and me and my husband we then said let us get married to each other and we had our wedding and on our wedding i can say that the prophet was the one who provided almost each and everything he even donated a very beautiful queen-sized bed and he said that this is the present that i have given to you he also bought some properties which are still in my dining room even up until this day so while it's me and my husband were busy with our marriage that was when i gave birth to a child that was a premature child and this child i can say that it was all by god's grace because what was supposed to happen was that this child was supposed to die but by the grace but but by the grace of god i just had a premature baby and after that my brother i fell pregnant again but the prophet kept on telling me that you are very stubborn i warned you not to keep on sleeping with this man now he is your husband and whenever i would be going through this problem of having a miscarriage the prophet will still call me to his hotel and the prophet will tell me to make love to him and it was very painful because i still remember that on this other at this other time when i had a miscarriage i was still bleeding that was when the prophet said that he wanted to sleep with me he slept with me whilst i was bleeding he said we are using a condom so it does not matter he slept with me and there was a time when i was pregnant again when i had slept with the prophet when i returned back home that was when i started to feel so much pain in my womb and i was really scared then late at night i then saw that the prophet he entered into my bedroom where i was sleeping with my husband and when he entered into that bedroom that was when i saw that the prophet had transformed himself and he had became sort of like a snake now and this snake the thing that he did it was really scary it coiled itself around the bed then this snake it started to lick my husband and after it had licked my husband it waited for me to like lay eggs you know like what a chicken does when it is laying eggs this is what i started to do i kept on laying the eggs that were coming out of my womb then this snake was busy eating all of those eggs so now i am scared because i heard that when a woman is born she already has the eggs that she is born with and a woman cannot create any more eggs so i am scared that each and every time when the prophet comes into my bedroom and whenever i lay all of these eggs whenever he comes into my bedroom maybe he is finishing off the eggs that are still in my womb so that i won't be able to conceive anymore each and every time when he licks me and my husband when i would open my eyes in my dreams then i'll see that the way that me and my husband will be so thin it will be like he would have drained all of the blood from my body as well as from my husband's body then he would leave me like that so this is the situation that i am facing there was even a time when the prophet said that he wanted me to stay at his house and when i was staying at his house what the people did not know was that the prophet he was busy coming 
to my room where I was sleeping, where the guests are always staying. And he was always making love to me. And this pains me a lot because I am scared that maybe this prophet he is using me for his, for his own rituals. He was making love to me in that same house where he was sleeping with his wives. So they... Uh, he was making love to me in that same house where he was also sleeping with his wife and the wife does not even suspect anything. She only thinks that I am there for the deliverance services. Yet whenever the prophet returns back from church, he first comes to the room where I will be sleeping. Then he would make love to me until he is tired. That is when he goes to sleep with his wife. I do not know what to do anymore. I am scared to tell my husband that this is what the prophet has been doing to me because he will say that so you have been cheating on me with this prophet therefore i am going to divorce you this is what i am going through my brother your oh, dear listeners right there was a narration of a message that was sent to me by our dear sister strange things do happen in this world your 